Jeff gave you away a little bit by telling a story a little sorry, too early, sorry. Jeff. I mean, just a little My premature, fault. Jeff. I don't know if that's. I got that's excited. A I'm sorry. I didn't know. I thought I'm not we sure were if that's doing a this. common thing in your life. You're a little premature there, Jeff. But. Uh, hey, wait. But, we don't. Not on this podcast, Russell. That's <laughs> not the tone we like. But uh, so. But this listen. is our only guest you've slept with. This is our only guest that that's ever that's ever that we'll ever have. <laughs> what? Well, you're married. It, it's, we are married. <laughs> we are married. Hey, so so uh, first of all. Um, Jeff, we've had some good guests. Had some good guests. This is going to be awesome. Good Hi, guests. Sierra. What up, Jeff? What's up? <laughs> I'm excited to see you. This is, is going to be very fun. Yeah, so, I know. First time on Danger Talk. Yeah, this is going to be fun. So, you know, listen, I think that uh, obviously you're my favorite guest of them all. You're my <laughs> favorite guest. And, and you will forever be my favorite guest hmm. of them all. Um, but we wanted to have you on the show because... Uh, one, we know you're a sports fan. So we we're talking yep. about the game. Jeff and I were just talking about the game. And, and uh, you know, funny thing is Jeff, and Jeff was just talking about how, you know, uh, when, when talking about the Dallas Cowboys girls and all that stuff and all, whatever you were saying, Jeff, I don't even remember what you were saying. <laughs> I can do that show. Yeah, I can do that. But Yeah, I was talking about well, how I was talking trash to the cowgirls. Well, also, I would not. That was one of the ones I would not pick. And no one kind of knew why I wouldn't pick it. <laughs> we yeah, we were on the degrees. same page. Well, we had three, um, oh, I'm not getting in your mess, but um, we had three options on the show for I Can Do That for different challenges that we take on. And this is for those that are watching. But, um, and so I was a cheerleader in high school, so I always loved cheerleading. But um, one of the options was the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. And it looked really dope. Like the, dance, the cheerleaders are amazing. Um, but at yeah, the same good. time, I'm like, uh-uh, I'm not doing the Cowboys on this one here, well, but. Well, I think about like, so first of all, can we go back a little bit yeah, before, let's go we, back. before we go too far in this, how, you know, how Jeff and how this, how we know each other here. Yeah. Um, you know, the first thing is, is that, you know, when I first got to know C, um, you know, I, I saw you written for Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, I, uh oh, <laughs> called so out. So, but wait, go ahead. You can finish. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to finish. I saw her, I saw her, <laughs> I saw her rooting for Tom Brady and I'm like, you know what? I like Tom, but she was rocking this jersey and all this stuff. And, and so you got to explain yourself well, wait, right I here. No, 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 I no. Rocking a patch jersey. You were rocking doing... whatever. You were streaming no, 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 this no, Tom no, Brady. No, game. I was at my house in Atlanta, <laughs> Georgia, and it was around Christmas time. No, I'm not mistaken, or Thanksgiving, somewhere in that time spot. No, Christmas because that's when you start. She's doing the playoffs. run around thing. She's no, doing no, the no, 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 because thing. that's when we get close to playoffs. <laughs> so I will tell you, I remember. Yes, I rooted for Tom, and I also rooted for you as well because you guys met up. So yes, that is right. I was I showed you like, rooted for um, both teams. Yeah, because they had it was two different um two different conferences. She was talking about you know okay. before we got to before the, Super Bowl. the yeah she was before talking about the, you know, uh, NFC AFC. Yeah, so yeah, I get it. She I get redeemed it. herself, you know, when we won the the Packers game, and she redeemed herself. I, I saw her post. <laughs> Of, uh, yes, so I was like, that's why you don't give up. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. you were. My, I will. Say we got a letter off. Let her off the hook, game, Russ. I mean, you, you root for other players, too. Well, listen, that game, for me, is one of the best, uh, best, the best footage you could ever watch, which is literally like, it was like Mission Impossible to mostly, I, I think mostly everyone. Like, it, it was just Mission Impossible. It seemed like Mission Impossible. And to see Russ literally, like, will his way into the win and, like, you know, rally up his teammates and to see them dial up everything. It was so, it's like the best footage. You guys have to find it. If you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you got to go find this. Literally for me, I get so inspired every time I see it still to this day. It's like the best. Thing. Yeah, it was a good game. So, so Jeff, I got a question for you before I kick you off and make this one-on-one -on -one with me and see. Hey, but, all right, uh, easy. <laughs> so, so when we were, uh, when, when you come into the, the back room and you, it's just, just so everybody knows here, Jeff's always been a Seattle Seahawks fan his whole life. Yes. I'm I'm now just starting to loyal to Sierra, you know. I'm coming up from San Diego. I'm going to drive up to LA to see C and 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 uh, I go to her show. I can do that, which we were talking about earlier. And mm -hmm. I go to the set and I kind of slide in there. And, we were keeping it low. Yeah, yeah. So I, I sneak chill. into the it was NBC set. I yep, sneak into NBC. the NBC set, you know, back into the room, whatever. And uh, Yoli was in there. Yep, Yoli, um, Kaya, my hairstylist. So at you know, the time. so yeah. they're in there and they kind of they kind of held me in there in the, in the back room, kind of low key and jeff found out i was there so jeff when you first knew that me and sierra talking do you think it was going to be something for long term 
Uh, I hoped it would be. Me and Sierra's dad hoped it would be. We were like, oh, <laughs> the rappers and all that. Russell Wilson is a champion, and he's a good guy. And I was even, I even told you can ed- you can edit this out if you want. I even uh, I even said to Sierra's dad, I was like, that's a good dude. I've never followed a pro athlete who literally sending out Bible verses on Twitter. He's up early. He's working hard. He's an honorable man. Uh, I literally, I, and, he, and her dad agreed. Her dad's like, yeah, we got a Russell Wilson. Like, he was happy. And I, I, uh, I'm obviously a sports fan, but I'm a fan of good people and honorable people. And, and I, I loved working with Sierra because she was like a real woman. She wasn't just like a – you know, I work with a lot of girls, but I feel like Sierra had like honor about her. So I thought it was a perfect match. Now we got something fun here, babe. Are you ready for this? You know, you know, I love the two minute drill. You're a sports fan. That's my specialty. Fun. I love the two minute drill. Jeff Dye's got a two minute drill for us. Jeff, don't be too rude. I'll never be crass. I'll never be rude. I'm just here for a good time. My specialty's fun, baby. All right, Sierra, you know the rules, but if it's a first time, listen from your fans or Russ's fans. The way it works is we're doing two minutes rapid fire answers, and I don't mean to be a jerk, but Russ, you've been slower lately. You've been really taking your time with these. I need you to be quick. All right, all right, I'm gonna give them to you rapid fire. I got you. And that Mark Cuban one, Russ, Russ took like 30 seconds with one of his. I was like, this okay, is my easy, guy. Bro. Come on. I love you, good. Come on. All right, this will be better. I'll... Friends hold each other accountable. I like, I, like, I, like, right. I, like, I like taking my time with C. Keep going. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to do the two-minute drill. Sierra, I'm coming to you first, and then it'll go to Russ, and then I'll just do the right next question. You guys ready? Let's get it. All right. Two minutes on the clock, and okay. Go to dance move, Sierra. Go to dance move. One, two, step. Okay. Uh, Russ, I don't dance. <laughs> okay. I thought you were gonna say pocket shuffle, whatever. All right, baseball oh, or no, football? Oh no, level up, Go. level up, level up, level up, dance. Sorry, shoot. Okay, level baseball up. or football? Football. Football. Okay. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Christmas. Okay. Favorite Christmas. Thanksgiving dish? Ooh. Stuffing. Mac and cheese. Nice. Russ is quick today. Favorite dessert of all time, not just Thanksgiving. Ooh, that's hard. <laughs> I, I don't have just one dish, but I would say brownie and ice cream, chocolate chip, cookie in a skillet, or peach cobbler. <laughs> wow. All right. She named all the desserts. Russ? Uh, hot, warm chocolate chip cookies. Nice. First job. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I never really had a true job. Uh, I, I, no, no, I mean, I, I did actually, I worked one of my friends, her aunt had a, ba- a baseball, Two minute uh, drill. had a stand, hot dog stand at a baseball field at the Turner stadium in Atlanta. And I would help, uh, sell the hot dog, hot dog, you uh, uh, mowing <laughs> grass. All right. First celebrity crush. Mm. Mm, that might have uh, my my celebrity question might have been like is my inspiration to is probably Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh wow! All right. Uh, my first celebrity oh, crush. Uh, I'd probably say. I'd probably say. I'm not gonna lie. I'd probably say Pamela Anderson. Okay. First uh, but, role but, but model. Listen, I, 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 okay, I'll explain that later. Celebrity crush, Pamela Anderson. She's she was bad back <laughs> in the Explain it later. Baywatch. Come on. First what was your role question? model. First role model. First role model? Yep. My my grandma? Okay. Good uh, answer. First role first, first role model, my dad. Wine or cocktail? Do you I like drinking really, wine drink or like drinking that. a cocktail, like a margarita or well, something? I'm not really I don't drink like that, but on a celebration it would be neither. Okay. Champagne. There you go. That'll count. That's like wine. Or you can do like a fruity cocktail. Do that. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I don't drink, but I, I don't drink. But if I did, I'd probably say wine. <laughs> Favorite all-time musician and Russ, you can't pick Sierra. Michael Jackson. I will go. I will go Michael Jackson. All right. Jackson. Last question. Go to accessory when you're getting all dressed up. Hmm. Go to accessory. Yeah. Watch, shoes, bracelet, heels. Heels. Hair. No, shoes. Just shoes. Okay. Well, oh, so you can do the hair. The hair. If, the, if a woman's hair is right, the whole <laughs> look is right. 
I would say, I would say, I would say shoes and watch. Shoes and watch. This we broke all the rules. That's the two minute drill. I have never seen such uh, such adding of things. You know, she changed the There's dance. There's a lot of TV name. timeouts in there. A lot of <laughs> TV timeouts. Good rapid awesome. fire, though, right? You yeah, guys did good. You got good chemistry. I love it. We do. Yeah. So? Yeah. Uh, I think you're gonna make it. Well, listen, aye, aye, aye. babe. Yeah. Last thing here. Obviously, we have the House of LRC, the launch of it. Yep. Good Man Brand is underneath the House of LRC. Human Nation underneath House of LRC. Go check it out, guys. But what's really cool is you know we do this thing segment here on danger talk it's called everyday hero and you always always ask the guests we've had some amazing guests in the past and i think that one of the things that we always talk about uh, with our guest is you know, this whole process of the everyday hero and who's somebody that's been an everyday hero for you because we always want to give good man brand away which, you know obviously we get three percent back but is there somebody that's would be a, who would be your everyday hero somebody who's made a difference for you in your world and who thinks you who thinks really special? oh man Two people come to mind, but obviously we're going to focus on the man. That's my dad. My dad would be my everyday hero. It could, it could be a girl too as well. We can well, get, we can... I was going to say Yolanda, you know, my best friend Yoli. She definitely is probably my everyday hero. Um, she is a woman like a, a fierce, no nonsense, intelligent, incredible woman, mom and wife. She and I both shared similar journeys. She also was a single mom at one point in time. Her daughter went to UPenn and, um, and is literally dominating right now. Um, and so uh, in the venture capital world. So Yolanda, I would say Yolanda is my. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.